What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Back with some Final Fantasy 16. I'm gonna pick up where we left off and head into the infirmary. Clive. How's Jill doing? How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of Don't we all? Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Hey, Clive. Oh, why are you delivering all your lines in a whisper? The shelves. It's weird. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. Oh my god, I've been feeling fine all day, and just suddenly it feels like I got punched underneath my eye. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time, and I... I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Well, you survived, I know, but there as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. I know. I still wish there was some other way. But griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Just tell me what you need. You, you... I'll make a milk run. Oh, thank you. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find. Have you tried heroin? Fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber, over in Rosaria, just search for the bright blue blossoms. Yeah, it was um, a conversation I was having with uh, Rob Stone a while back. Um, you know, because I, I, I always thought it was weird. It's like, well, just remove the tattoo. I mean, you know, because I mean, that's all I thought it was. Apparently, it, it's hinted at, but it's just, it's never come out. I, I think it needed to actually, they, there needed to be a scene or something where the brand was explained because it's like magically connected to the person. It's not just a simple tattoo. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought it. I was saying something earlier. Oh, yeah, it feels like I got punched under my eye. Yeah, man. It, again, I, my sinuses will go from clear to stuffed up in, like, two seconds. They're not super stuffed, but I'm, I've got a lot of pressure in my face behind my eyes. Well, he was a puppy, and then he grew big. My father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and... Seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. So you're telling me he's not a normal dog? Holy shit. Reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. Are we... His name was Fenrir. Are... I feel like we're ripping off Game of Thrones. Well, I mean, it's Norse mythology, you know, Fenrir, the wolf that kills Odin, etc., etc. But still. But I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, the girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One 
awakens as the dominant of Shiva and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own, his latent birthright as a Frostwolf, it had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. I'm the best of boys. And regarding your original fear me. Concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Wait, whoa, 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 Please, for the good love of God, can we rewrite that line? <laughs> it, the fact that you could deliver that with a straight face is mind-boggling to me. Maybe it's because I have the the what's the what's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> Maybe it's because I have the the self-control of a child, but. but yeah, it just feels like we're ripping off Game of Thrones, you know. Queen of the Far North, you know, Frost. I, I, I don't know. It feel very Game of Thrones to me. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Here is the first invention: the Glock. <laughs> Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. I think I'll wait till Mids away to take a tour of her dungeon. Oh my god, can I sprint? So slow. I'm just so lazy. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. I'm still waiting for him to come back, like Gary Buster Holmes from the from the Yakuza franchise. You know, the guy with the big, who had the big like uh, spiked balls on at the end of his hands. What? Here. Would that be a problem? What, are they gonna bang? Hello, Clive. I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. I'm sure. Uh, nothing to worry about on that front. I keep hearing weird dialogue that it's just like there there are sexual connotations and a lot of stuff that's being said. It's freaking me out. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We um. I mean, I think she's super hot, but that's beside the point. I guessed. Yeah, it's Kupka waving his stumps. Oh, it's his, uh, his uncle. It was a pleasure, you know, in sight. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Byron? <laughs> Fly, boy. Zoom in, this is an anime. For your uncle is here. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Do 
Just one of those kind of like cheerful dudes who just shows up like a fucking wrecking ball. Dude, that is a really cool silhouette of a city. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals... So, I'm... I'm so she tried to sell it as the kid was the one who made the diplomatic uh, move and not her? A heinous bitch. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fists will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. And he is, um, disarmed. Ha <laughs> clash between Bahamut and Titan. It is not to be. This guy's a dick. What of your subjects, your radiance? Somehow, if not as much as, the, the as, as Clive's the mom, but still. The brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. I don't think the Prince is very happy with that. Yes, sir. At least I think he's the prince. And the Dion just kind of strikes me as a. Uh, you know, kind of the, the true knight, you know, that sort of, um, you know, sacrificing the people and whatever, it's, it's not the right thing to do, not the knightly thing to do. You know, you fight your enemies, but, you know, once, but sire. But, you know, once you have the peace treaty, it's, you, don't make me repeat myself. you know, it's only honorable Don't to honor you your know. word, so to speak. My orders. At least that's a character that he's striking me as. But he's also fiercely loyal to his country, so he's going to do something that he's not necessarily okay with. Radiance. Because his king is telling him to do it. Depart at once. Well, emperor, whatever. Proper term for the for the leader. I need to double check the relationships because I could have sworn he was his son. I, I forgive you. Yeah. 
and that's how he justifies his... What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Ooh. Well, maybe don't make him do things that he thinks is morally questionable. You disappoint me, Dion. God, I can't, I really hope we get to cut her head off by the end of this game. But yeah, but again, is that a reference to an old Final Fantasy game? Because that armor looks really familiar. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. But yeah, I, I... I... I think that Dion is kind of using... How to phrase this? He is using... I have the details here. New feature... Oh, interesting. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Uh, I dread to think what would have happened if you'd been, not been there. She never lets anything get her down. He's larger than life, that's about right. A thief of happiness. Okay, just not what I would have called her. But whatever. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished it. This is cool. He's out there somewhere. He hasn't changed a bit. Keep fighting the good fight. I'm wondering the, what madness drives her and I will end it. Please let us stab her. I'm not gonna deal this with everyone just because it's very, it, 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 it'll take forever if I look at the inner voices for everyone, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, what did I want to see? Not the Dominican Republic, not the Kingdom of Walud. Over here, Bahamut, Dian. Firstborn loyal subject of Emperor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he is he he is the Yeah, he's the son of the Emperor. Okay. Okay, okay. I I thought that was the the origin there. Here you are. Um, this ends today's lesson. Well, yeah, just the way the way he walked out of that, you know, make Gregor, you know, he's essentially kind of like make God have mercy on your soul. It was kind of like that's his, like I'm just following orders, even though he finds them morally objectable. You know, I also like the whole, oh, the spirit of, the the spirit of. Uh, treachery lays over him and again I'm sitting there thinking well did you think of not making him do morally questionable acts I mean maybe that would help I'm just saying the river was easy enough to find now for those herbs <sighs> 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 I thought it was attacking me.
There we go. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. Yeah, like I said, though, I, I, I restock for a while. Hopefully, this will put Rodriguez's mind at ease. I really hope at the end of this game we get to end it by taking his mom out. Just she, I mean, there is one character who I like, I, I truly despise in this game. It is her. Like, I don't feel that way about Koopka. I don't feel that way about. I, I mean. Because is Koopa got an ass? Sure. But everything he's done has struck me as logical. Everyone's fighting this game of power. But I don't know, man. Just the way that she's flipping sides and the way just what she's doing. It, the fact that she also did that to her own like, flesh and blood like kids really irks me. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Only the I don't know. know. There's just something I just find her the most detestable. And, they, and, they, and again, I think it's because how she turned on her flesh and blood, her husband, because he's not mean enough to the peasants, you know, to her son, because he's not the dom, you know, to Clive, because he wasn't the dominant, and just, it just, ugh, I, I don't like it. I do not like it. Physicals like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. Yeah, it's like I said, I just find her the most detestable of this cast. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's oh, here's the line I've been wanting. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb. Knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? conviction they're willing to die they're willing to fight to give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions I know your work isn't easy but neither is going under the knife be a shoulder for your patients to lean on stay strong for them <laughs> you sound like Tyre do you know what she once told me it's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. Seems like a good guy. Well, I mean, if it's a poison that's in the ink, would, uh... And again, I'm just pitching, I, 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 pitching an idea. Instead of making an, an, an incision... There we go, I can speak. Uh, and pulling it off, wouldn't... Uh, essentially just burning it work better? Would that kill the po Well, no, that's, that, that would probably kill maybe bacteria or something. But would superheating it nullify poison? I actually don't know. I'm just realizing I don't know much about poisons. Ah, my dear nephew. How I've missed you. <laughs> How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came. To learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. 
You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaletta Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000! <laughs> I don't know why that close up just struck me like a. It struck me as like a Yakuza and kind I'm of scene. That is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes. It seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that they can give him new hands? Around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Okay, so the so the fleet was a distraction, essentially. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed or were made to believe that their master was dead. <laughs> You have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Candleward on business after visiting you here. The fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to <clears> tell <throat> my friends what we've learned. Excuse me. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Okay, am I the only one who's got a thing for the archivist lady? 
And anyone else think that she's really hot? Otto, Kuka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I'm just going for a political assassination. I promise. The Lanza and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalemil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> uh, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. <laughs> oh my god, just the honesty. I'm just, oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> it's great. I love Gav. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. I was a young man when last I walked this path. Ah, uh, the traditional desert level. Wouldn't be a RPG without one. Trading posts not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Riddle of the Sands. So it's the... Oh, uh, yep, just a big open area. That's, that's just that about right. Lies over that dune beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sand. Oh, man. Dude, I feel really bad I wasn't able to get a video up for that state of play that happened. Would have been last week now? I mean, it's Sunday night as I'm recording this. Ah, whatever. Um, yeah, sadly, I wasn't able to get a video for it. I really wanted to. The issue is... I... Uh, I don't record the computer I'm using uh, through OBS. I record through my Elgato with a dual PC, so I have, like, a gaming PC that I use for uh, playing games and, you know, whenever you see me do something PC-wise um, on the channel, it's with that computer. But that computer is currently... It, it, things fucked. Really, both my computers are. I need to... I need to re uh, replace my... Um, recording slash work computer. I mean, the, the thing's just out of date. I just, I just need to, you know, get shit up and running so my, uh, my Adobe will run with it. Or at least the most recent form of Adobe. Like, right now I'm running it off a laptop, but... So, you know, there's, I have that PC and then I have my gaming PC. My gaming PC is completely borked right now. I'm really, I'm probably, I'm just gonna, um, we have a really nice, like, custom shop here in town, so I'm probably gonna 
go see what I can get for it, see if they have anything I like. If not, maybe I'll uh, try build Redux or something like that and get a better gaming setup. Um, so yeah, I you know I tried putting in the the YouTube app through my PS5, but then it I have to turn on. Um, Oh, I have to turn on a setting that won't let me work with my capture card, and it's a whole fucking thing. Yeah, if you didn't know, this whole this whole production here is is held together with shoestrings and bubble gum. <laughs> nah, I'm just I honestly I'm still running the same capture card I had when I first started this uh, first started this channel. I can't see a thing. Come, Clive. Let us turn back before we lose our way. You know, it's one of those, eh, it still works. <laughs> but, uh, it still works, and I still think the quality I get isn't bad. Mix that with, I really like the built-in editor that Elgato has, at least with the, uh, the HD60. Um, I really like the built-in editing software. Just because you record it, it sends it, you know, to the editing i mean it, it's it's simple shit it's um just you know you can make cuts and everything you can't do anything like super fancy with it but it's it's serviceable especially for a channel like mine that's hey i record you know i record my my voiceover my commentary live with the game so you know it records both tracks for me it puts everything together there's a slight delay in it but eh, all in all it's it's good software um my computer won't run the one for the new capture card that I've had sitting here on my desk for like two years. That can record at 4K. It's the, you know, but it uses the the new version of Elgato's recording <laughs> recording software that doesn't have the built-in editor, which I'm not a fan of, because that means I'd have to use Adobe. Although I guess you know, shit would render on Adobe faster if my computer wasn't so fucking old. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm... I've got a half-built computer sitting around that's probably going to turn into my work computer. And then I'll uh, do some... Like I said, I'll, I'm will i going to purchase a new one for my... Uh, for my gaming setup. Which, again, it's either I'm going to go through Build Redux or... Um, or any other, like, pre-built... Um, service if anybody has any suggestions but I've heard good things about build redux I've, I've known somebody or I've known a few people who have um, gotten computers from them and have really liked it and just said it's an, it's an easy process to buy shit from them I've heard good things about NXT or is it and not NXT that's a wrestling brand NZXT I don't know. it's not coming to me off the top of my head um, but I've heard good things about their service, too, so... You know, there's... Different places I can get a... Get a pre-built... Gaming PC. I don't know why, what the hell I'm talking about even more, uh, anymore. I'm just... Ranting. I don't know. My brain's a little fried after the... I had to write a fucking paper. I'm not happy about it. I don't like it. It didn't take me long. It was just figuring out what the hell I wanted to write about. It was just such a pain in the ass. You know, it was a narrative or descriptive essay. It was only like three pages, double-spaced. So it wasn't that bad once I actually got the... Once I actually like figured out how to write it. Okay, it took me all of maybe an hour and a half to two hours. But it's just... It, it's so... When you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Bay. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived, just you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you and sat in the sand. Um... But yeah, it was just some narrative essay or whatever, and it was just like, Oh, describe a moment that's so... 
profound and important in your life that changed the way you see the world. And I'm like, oh God, fuck off. It, just because I, I don't I don't see the world like that. I don't see it as like individual moments are so heavily shaping you. I see it more as it's the collection of smaller moments that, you know, it's... It's like, oh, well, th but that one small moment had huge weight. No, that small moment that led to another small moment that led to another small moment that all led together to be something bigger. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being pedantic, which, you know, I am one to do. But, yeah, it, it's just I, I don't like that whole, oh, I'm going to retroactively assign weight to moments in my life. And it just... It, frustrates me. Mix that with I just don't want to talk about myself to other people in my class. You know, I, I do it to you guys because you're a captive audience. But, you know, the people that I'm going to have to sit in class with that I'm just not particularly fond of, yeah, I'm, I'm good. There she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? I'm loving his uncle more and more. <laughs> Dude, he just seems like just such a free spirit. I kind of, it, it's just, it's... It, it's making them fun. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Toggle. Dogs aren't allowed inside. What? I'm not a dog, I'm the best boy. Oh, look at him, he walked away all sad. Aww. Poor Torgal. Oh, yeah, because that's going to make you inconspicuous. Yeah, I'm just walking in all emo like. good for your sword to let it sit like that? Like, I feel like that would dull the tip. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? I'm, I'm really distracted by this chick. Because she's really cute. And then she's got a nice butt. <laughs> like, you'd see it just kind of... Just, just popping through the... The clothes, you know, like when you walked in, she was kind of leaning on that table. I was like, ooh, hello. <laughs> I was distracted for a bit. Wait a minute. <coughs> Stop showing up places. Oh no, raspberry jam. It is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. 
I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Hey, how about you go downstairs and get a bite to eat and see your fucking brother? I know he, he doesn't know that his brother's there. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just, can we get them together and hang out and kind of tell us what's up with the kid? This is really cool how they're doing these kind of like tracking shots across the bar. And yes, I'm using a film term to describe this, but it's, you know, like we follow her up to find the medicine woman who's going to go check on Joshua, then we follow her down, and then back to following the barmaid. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. So are these guys supposed to be like Vikings? Is that what their culture is supposed to be? us all this way just to save that blockhead skin. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be cooker. Isn't that wrong? <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uncle. No, they're... Sorry. Armor's maybe a little more... Roman-ish? Kind of up in the shoulders is where I'm seeing it, the banding. It's a really cool way of switching the perspectives. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. It's a very, it's a very minor detail or a way that the these scenes are shifting, but I really kind of like how we're following the characters' perspectives up and down the stairs. How it's not just cutting between them. It's like we're seeing these two characters as kind of like the the vessel for changing scenes. But yeah, you see the things in the, the shoulder armor looks more Roman to me. I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Well, you know, with Zeus being the leader of their... Of the, the kingdoms. Uh, Zeus, the dominant of Zeus. There we go. Is, <laughs> is the one for the kingdom. Um, words. The hell? Hmm. I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. What? His uncle isn't gonna fight. So I can fill his fucking mouth. I got it. Damn it! I love you. Take him. Try it. I love his fucking uncle. He's so freaking funny. trouble I fucking love you oh my god advice, miss that soup could do with a touch more salt 
He's so fucking funny. I love him. He's my new favorite character. You gonna go in there and tell him that uh, his brother is down there? Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Clive? He just, of course, he just runs into the room that he was in. He just, he just knows. I was like, at least check all of the rooms. Don't just suddenly find the one. Frustrate the shit out of me. What is it now? It is nothing. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, it's clearly nothing. Come on. You don't just suddenly run up stairs in a panic? to find Kupka before, we do now. The Rollers said to themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. I really like the look of this area. The very Middle Eastern design to it. It's pretty dope. God, I still think those swords are weird. Just the tips. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. I mean, you could climb those rocks. Like, you could get out, like, by force, whatever. I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, Woman of Mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Okay, guys, I think this is where we're going to call it quits for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, find me over on social media. All that stuff is linked down in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. But until then, I'm out.